So I'm talking with Tracy Pierce now. Tracy Pierce is Carvatech Brisbane's marketing manager. Tracy, what's what's this all about? International Women's Day at Carvatech. Um, so the event's been designed uh, to help uh, inspire women in, to give woodworking a go. So there's that, that element, but also the recognition of people that are already in the industry, uh, potentially sometimes seen it as a male-dominated industry. The idea was to sort of help encourage women to give it a go, and that it is, you know, a creative and, and lovely hobby to, to get into. Mm-hmm. So um, the the idea of today's format is to have a relaxed style for people to interact and ask questions and get to know the basics behind the machinery and tools that you need. And what what do you think the response of women's been like? It's actually it's 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 been quite surprising. It was um, something that we weren't really sure how it would go, and have just done it in the two stores this year with the view of next year maybe doing it all the stores. Um, but the response is probably for me personally, I think it's probably double what we what what I expected anyway. So. Did you think some women might think it was a bit of a sort of a a sweet talking exercise or or how do you think they sort of approached it? The, the idea about theming it with International Women's Day is for that whole recognition of people that are in the industry and um, rather than sort of just trying to, uh, you know, just talk direct to women's tied into that International Women's Day um, around the achievements and more about the journey of what they can produce and, you know, the beautiful things in the end rather than the products, which, you know, obviously for, for a, a retailer, the products are very important. Um, there's also that end product that people are striving to mm. produce. Well, looking around the store, it's packed. There are women everywhere. They're intensely interested in what's going on. The, the demonstrators are conducting their own Q&A sessions over there. I mean, I, th- I don't think they can barely get a tool to the, yeah. to the wood at this point because everyone seems so fascinated by what's going on. So you must be thrilled with how it's going. It's, um, yeah. I guess it's not just opening up a new market, is it? It's... Um, it's just affirming your market in a sense, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, part part of the the strategy at the moment is obviously um, you know uh, giving the the best tools, timber training to the, the current customers that we've got, but also starting to get into some some of those newer markets that um, haven't considered we're working or, or perhaps don't know of carbon tech in that sort of area of um, you know all sorts of. Uh, woodworking from you know things like skateboards and so forth and musical instruments and obviously the, the, the creative arts as well. This does seem to be a new initiative of Carpetex that you have your in-store demonstrations. Um, what can we look forward to? Yeah, yeah. Um, at the moment, we've changed the format to uh, in-store demonstrations uh, most, uh, mostly it's every second Saturday so that customers can get used to, if they come in every, you know, every second Saturday or two Saturdays a month, that there'll be a demonstration of some sort in the store to help sort of give them new skills and new ideas from people that are local. So at the moment, we're trying to source um, different styles of demonstrators um, of all different levels and, um, and sort of yeah, areas to, to give people those skills. So, hmm. Thank you, Tracy.